If you are looking for how to delay periods, then it's time for some evidence-based tips. I'm going to teach you how to delay your period and how to stop your period, whether you're going on vacation or for whatever reason. What are we waiting for? Hit that like button if you're fired up for this. Let's go. Okay, so let's dive straight into tip number one. This is the easiest option for those of you who are watching who may be on the combined hormonal birth control, okay? Whether it's a pill, and we call it COX for short, or the ring or the patch, okay? We're gonna leverage this to help delay your period. I'm gonna explain how we do this in a second, but remember, this doesn't apply for those of you who may be on the progesterone only pill, which we sometimes call mini pill for short. So if you're on the combined pill, you will know that it usually comes with 21 days of active pills that have the hormone in them, basically. Basically. And then they either come with a seven day placebo tablet, so ineffective tablets that you take, or you take a seven day pill free break. During that time, you usually have your period, okay? So here's what you're gonna do instead you're gonna miss that seven day pill free period, okay? Or you're just gonna miss the seven days of ineffective pills that you take that are already in there. And you're gonna move on to your next cycle, your next cycle of three weeks of pills, okay? So you do your three weeks of pills, you don't take your seven day break, and you just move on to the next cycle of three weeks of pills, okay? This is gonna stop your period, but please do speak to your healthcare professional about it, because any mishaps can affect how well your contraception works. And the most important thing is that it is working, so always check this with your healthcare professional. And if you're on the ring or patch, simply miss the week off and go on to your next new ring or patch. Basically, the exact same thing that we did with the pill. Please remember again, always do check this with your healthcare professional first to make sure that you're doing things right. The last thing we want is to do something wrong, which is gonna affect how well the contraception actually works. Moving straight on to tip number two, medroxyprogesterone or norethisterone. If you are watching this in the US, you may know it as norethindrone, okay? These are prescription treatments to help delay your period, and they are for patients who are not on the combined hormonal birth control. And as long as you take it three days before your expected period, it will be effective. Now the most important thing is speak to your healthcare professional about these different treatment options so they can go through how it works, go through the side effect profiles with you and find out which one is the best for you. Now, if you want more information or treatment options for a particular medical condition, then let me tell you about Dr. Fox, who are very good friends of the channel. Dr. Fox is an online doctor and pharmacy ready to help you with over 30 different medical conditions. And I think the best thing to do is to visit their website to learn more about their services. I will leave a link to them in the description below. Dr. Fox, Thank you for being our sponsor. Now, medroxyprogesterone and norethisterone are what we call progestogens. They work in a very similar way to the natural female hormone, progesterone. Progesterone is responsible for maintaining the lining of the uterus. So when you take this medication, it basically sends a signal to the uterus telling it to hold on, it is not time for the period, so it keeps the lining intact and it stops the period. Please remember, these pills have no contraceptive effect, okay? They also have side effects, so always speak to your health care professional about them before starting any medication. So next up, let's talk about blood testing because testing blood biomarkers like your ferritin, like your thyroid stimulating hormone levels are commonly done in practice to check for things like iron deficiency anemia or if you're feeling tired a lot. Now if you're interested in testing your blood biomarkers, we've actually partnered up with Cyfox who've made it simple for everyone to do clinically accurate blood testing at home. They do testing on 17 different blood biomarkers and more if you want so you can have a better understanding of your health. Here's how it works. You order the test you need online. They post you out the kit, you take a blood sample, you post the kit back in the prepaid envelope, easy as that. Cyfox will then upload your blood results securely via their dashboard so you can review it with clear explanations to what they mean and best of all, you can share your results with your medical provider too. And to learn more, I will leave a link in the description below to Cyfox. Definitely do check them out and don't forget to use my code ATP10 for 10% off your first order. Cyfox, Thank you for being our trusted sponsor. Diving straight into tip number three, avoiding those myths. Listen, I've heard it all in practice. The most common one that I hear from patients is drinking copious amounts of lemon juice to help delay your period. Please remember, that does not help delay your period, nor does apple juice, apple cider vinegar, cinnamon. I've heard all these different things. There's no evidence supporting it. Avoid them, please. Now, safely delaying your period is all about making an informed choice. So please do speak to your healthcare professional about the different options so they can speak to you about the side effects, how they work, and so they can pick something that's individualized and works for you. I really hope my tips help you in this week's video. Sending awesome vibes.